In section 4.2, we'll be defining arithmetic operation on matrices. So I'm going to start uh, with defining these operations that are quite similar to vector operations that we've seen in the first chapter. All right, so in 4.2.1, I'm going to define the sum and the scalar multiplication of matrices. We had a sum on vector and we had a scalar multiplication on vector. It's going to be quite similar. So I'm going to start with um, two matrices, A and B. They have the same size. They're both M by N. And I have a description of their entries. For A, it's AIJ. For B, it's BIJ. And I'm going to take K to be any real number. All right, so when I write A plus B, what I mean is you take a matrix of the same size as A and B were, but the entries will be the sum of the entries of A and B. So in words, what you do is you just add corresponding entries. All right, for the subtraction, um, I'm going to subtract corresponding entries, so it's going to look quite similar. The only difference will be that it's going to be a minus instead of a plus, so I'm going to subtract corresponding entries. Scale and multiplication, I'm going to replace each entry by k times that entry. So I'm going to multiply every single entry by k. All right, so these operations are very close to the operations we had on vectors. It's just that we do it on rectangles instead of on just one line. So let's try computing some of these. So in example 4.2.1, I'm given three matrices, A, B, and C, and I want to evaluate the following. Let's spell this out with the matrices explicitly written. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply B by 2 because the priority of operation is the same for matrices as it was for vector and for real number multiplication comes first. So 2, 3, minus 4, 12. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply all entries by 2. So instead of 7, I'm going to get 14. Instead of 2, I'm going to get minus 4. Instead of 1, it's 2, and then 18. And then when I have a subtraction between two matrices, I need to subtract corresponding entries. So 2 and 14. I'm going to subtract those. That's going to give my e minus 12, and I'm going to put that in the first position. Then 3 and minus 4, I'm going to put over here. So 3 minus minus 4, that's um, 3 minus minus 4, that's 7. And then minus 4 and 2. So minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. And finally, last entry, green I already have, let's do red. So 12 minus 18, that's minus 6. All right, so just entry by entry. You just have a different shape of entries that you had for um, vectors. All right, so let's try this one. I have 3 times A plus C. All right, so I can multiply the 3 in. I'll get 6, 9, minus 12, 36. But then when I get to adding these matrices, I have trouble because they're not of the same size. So I cannot, we've just seen that that wouldn't be the same matrix, I cannot put zeros here. They're not the same size. That means this is not defined, so it does not exist. The addition and the subtraction were defined only for matrices of the same size. All right, um, for any positive integers m by n, we're going to have a special zero matrix, and it's going to be the matrix with 
um, all entries will actually be equal to zero. So that means I have M rows and columns and all entries are simply zero. Nothing but zeros in sight. All right, so let's try some algebra with this matrix. If I have one, three, five, two, five, two, four, six, um, plus zero, that means I take this matrix, uh, two by three, so two rows, three columns. They're the same size, so I can add them. And if I add them, um, since my second matrix only has zeros, it's not going to change anything to the first. And so I get the same matrix back. All right, so let's write that in a takeaway. For any M by N matrix A, we have that 0 M cross N plus A equals A plus 0 M cross N equals A. When the size of 0 M cross N is obvious from the context, we'll actually not write the M cross N, so we'll just write the 0, but it's a bold 0 to tell you that it's not the number 0, it's the matrix 0.